and drink 24 beers. I don't know why I'm puking. You, oh, he did? <laughs> That was the best. You're back on your phone. I'm bored watching you sing. Fuck off. It's not awkward watching me saying, yes, Welcome to the Joel Henderson Show. My name is Joel Henderson. With me, as always lately, my lovely wife. Aww. She didn't say her name. Jennifer Henderson over there. I think I had to. Well, Should we clap? Yeah. No, you don't, no, you don't have to clap. Um, okay. Also with me, as usual lately, JKFD? JK, what? I don't know this how. Is, so, you don't get combined. I don't, I don't get any. You don't get the. It's just JK. Mm, I see. JRK. J, you are a jerk. jerk. Yeah, that's about right. <laughs> yeah, I mean it's pretty fitting. So we got with us the jerk Justin Keir, <laughs> oh my God. as well as his. Stop. Uh, is it is it notable that we can say on on the podcast? Is yeah, this breaking news here? It's my fiance. His fiance. Aww. Isn't that adorable? He doesn't sound right saying that. I don't like the word fiance. It's like well, what the should side we? Oh, my episode. fiance. Yeah, and it's like everybody's always got to use that term. You well, know? then what should we say? <laughs> I swear to God, if you say it, I know what you want to say, and I'm just pleading with you not to say it. I'm, I don't. I, I, I don't. I don't know. know. Him. I mean, he's. I know, I know a three-letter word that he's considering saying right now. A three-letter word. And I want to smack him already. <laughs> Because it's so fucking stupid. I mean, and it starts already, with a B. Everybody already knows you're my bae, you know. Oh god damn it! Oh, for nah, fuck's nah. sake! I I hate the word fiance probably more than a lot of things. It's like harassment or something. It's fucking harassment. <laughs> <laughs> like not harassment. Well, to be fair, that's just the British pronunciation because they say things like urinal instead of urinal. What? Yeah, it's all spelled the same. Laboratory instead of laboratory. Just things. Jen. What? What's going on in your phone? Tell us about your phone. I was texting Jen. Well, tell us what you and Jen are talking about, because it's probably more interesting than what we're discussing. So just give us a little blast of that. We've been so busy that we haven't seen each other. Even going on vacation together, we didn't really see each other. Okay. So we set a date in both of our phones that we would spend time today, and all I want to do is clean the house. And it needs to be cleaned and organized. And so I'll clean the house. You go hang out with Jenna. But we, can we get through the podcast Does Joel first? Clean? Does Joel clean? Joel cleans like yeah. a mofo. But he lets it build for a couple of days, then he cleans. Yeah, oh. well, I don't want to clean every single fucking day of my life. There are better <laughs> things to do. Like sit here and watch every episode of The Simpsons. And I mean, he for sure. Yeah. Like, come the on. Legos out and, like, he, did, he did organize Sawyer's room, but it has destroyed the house at the same time. Yeah. Because he just takes Lego drawers and just takes it to the living room and dumps the entire drawer everywhere. <laughs> yeah, it's th- it's like that Lego firewalk all- down our hallway in the morning. That's always fun. I don't think I've ever actually stepped on one here. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, Justin. Mm-mm. I step on Mm-mm. toys fucking constantly, dude. Yeah. And it's like always the star-shaped And then, one. no, he gets <laughs> angry at the toy. Like the toy. As opposed to the person that left it there. <laughs> Well, that would be like Liam. Yeah, so. yeah, you whoop their ass. What you dare to leave a fucking? <laughs> <laughs> it's always the star one that you step on. Yeah, like it literally, like <laughs> seriously, bring me to my fucking knees, dude. Like in pain. Like I'll be sitting on my ass and have to throw the fucking thing across the room because I can't do anything else. Hmm. Are you normally laying in the couch bed like today? Um, no. No, the, I popped. The, sorry, I didn't mean to it was spoil that. Open when I got home. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They were ch- him me and Liam were chilling in that couch bed. We were chilling today. And your that was a pretty chill day. I yeah. took him over the uh, last three episodes of Walking Dead so we could discuss it <gasps> at some point. But <gasps> he then <gasps> told me you haven't seen him yet, so we'll kick you out at the end and discuss what? it then. We'll be like, go inside. <laughs> 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 so we'll kick you in. If that makes. Does that sound right? Better? Yeah. No? Mm. What the fuck is with... Uh, you're a Panthers fan? It's uh, no. is that Jaguars. The Jacksonville Jaguars. It, yeah, it's a Jacksonville Jaguars. It um, was free. Yeah, a customer gave it to me. 
the other well, day. Well, naturally, it was free, but you're still wearing it. <laughs> that's yeah, the thing that's concerning yeah, yeah. me. I, I, I like the colors of them. You know, it's a nice colored hat. I have some matching, hat. Okay, matching attire enough. to go with it. I, I don't like the Jaguars. Or Maybe we can take it off. Shitty team. Yeah, I mean, uh, Big Al was talking about them potentially moving to London. Uh, yeah, I think that was... Uh, as long as they change that. the fucking colors. The, the uniforms are hideous. They're pretty crazy looking, yeah. I mean... The, mm. all, the black pants don't help. I don't know why. It's I don't just, know. It's weird. I don't like their colors. I don't know. Well, uh, you're a weird color guy anyways. I, I mean, am. I would think but that you would But like gold that. and te- oh. dark teal and black? Mm. The uglier the better, man. The uglier the better, that's your theory? I liked the, what was it, the browns, the orange and brown. Yeah, and that one white. actually isn't bad. Like, I thought that or like in the theory it should be ugly. Or like the colors. Like, I liked them because of their colors. Oh, yeah, I had a... I no, had but a... that's fucking, that's bears colors. No, that wasn't blue. It was brown, yeah, it was... yellow, and orange. Oh, you're talking old school Astros. Yeah. I was, was thinking that's, uh, 2000s. That's like old school Padres, but the old school Astros has got orange, blue, yellow, white, red. Oh yeah, the yeah. The star the, is blue. Okay, well, I don't like the bl- I don't like the blue. Yeah, yeah but it's more like, like a rainbow. Dude, I had a badass reason. throwback. It was like an expensive one. Which one? Astros. Uh, the Astros, the orange one. It's fucking pretty badass, man. Yeah. Where is it? Um, one of my friends, I'm sure Jack jacked it, or you know, I got wasted and left it somewhere. That Ooh. sounds probably more accurate. Or got into a fight, <laughs> ripped it off, and you know. Yeah. yeah. Or it's sitting in a jail cell. Some. Oh, I mean. <laughs> That never happens. No. <clears throat> no. Your shirt matches his hat. Someone that worked as a correctional officer. We, we plan it that I way. I think so. Oh, yeah. yeah. I feel like that conversation happened. We're going to go on the podcast. What should I wear? Mm-hmm. That's just an asking. Oh, my hat matches your <laughs> shirt. We got ma- we got matching thongs. Mm-hmm. So no new tattoos lately? No. No? I was thinking about getting a portrait of Morgan Freeman on my left butt cheek. I'm gonna need the full explanation. You've been thinking about that for a while. Yeah, I, but why? I mean, if you, I mean, you That's fucking show your bare ass to somebody, you know, you moon them, and they'll, you know, they're not gonna be like, dude, you just show me his ass. They're gonna be like, why not force? Whatever. Like, what the fuck is that? Is that <laughs> just gonna p- make a pitch here? Based <laughs> running with that. <laughs> Do you know where I'm going with this? Half his face on your ass cheek, and you make the winking eye. <laughs> Your the asshole. Oh, well, that's kind of kind of <laughs> weird. He's, he's the one with the eye. Yeah, I know. I I seen a pretty <laughs> funny meme. Through, I seen a meme with him on it. You Why know, he's you got say the he's eye. the one with the, the one eye? With the eye. <laughs> he's the one with the eye. As opposed to the other Forrest. I didn't want you to be confused with Gump. <laughs> no. Why is Forrest not a more popular name? How is that not a name that y- people pick? Oh, Griffin. This Forrest Griffin. Griffin. Yeah. yeah. But that's three forests we've been able to name. And one of them is fictional. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying. Wait, which one's fictional? Gump! What? Oh, Forrest Gump! <laughs> which one's fictional? <laughs> but I thought there was a guy Dude, that no. did do all that, but, but there was a guy. But not Gump. I thought his name was Forrest. Oh, I mean, Wait. I guess it's possible. Google it! But there's, no. He doesn't want me is to be on my phone. Is Forrest Gump? Google Forrest Gump. I'm sure all you're going to get is Tom Hanks. It's going to come up with like... Exactly. Yeah, but it might give me a Wikipedia. I mean, it's going to be riveting listening for people as I browse. Right. But... Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's patient. And what wait. were we trying to figure out again? We were trying to if figure out if there was a real Forrest, Forrest Gump. Gump. Yeah. By the way, that's one of the best movies ever made. Agreed. Why was it so much longer when we were younger? Like, I watch it now, and it yeah. doesn't seem to be as Is long. Is there a real-life Forrest Gump? When I was younger, I swear, that was like Gump. a five-hour movie. Did you ever watch The NeverEnding Story? Yes. That was, like, long magical movie. and long when I was younger. I and now movie. I watch it, and it's, like, 45 minutes. <laughs> magical and long. It, what? <laughs> <laughs> we were watching uh, Children of the Corn with Stephen King's I've Children never of the seen Corn. that. And it's Lena, on Netflix. Yeah, Lena asked me to watch it with her. I was like, okay, Lena. I was like, just like, I was like yeah. It did not scare her, and it, I swear it was like a 45-minute movie. And I was like, you weren't scared? She goes, no, that wasn't scary at all. And Which I, when, when I was Children watching it, corn. I was yeah. like, this is not scary. Oh, yeah, it's, it's corny as hell. 
Was what? it scary for its time, though? It might be one of those things that just doesn't yeah. hold up well. Like, all yeah. the tropes in it have been done to death in other movies since then. So you're like, oh, they're doing that well, thing. The, the kids in it, it were really creepy. It happened with Pet Cemetery too, because I remember, like, I oh, enjoyed yeah. Pet Cemetery when I was a kid. And to mm. me, that was I a didn't watch bit that scary. Shit. There was a fucking sleepover we had, and I refused to watch it. It was my birthday, too. I'm like, I'm not... I'm gonna do that. Not not having everybody over and watching fucking Pet Cemetery. Or Freddy Krueger. You had me watch what the sequel? the second one. Yeah. I'm like, mm, this is not scary. At all. I think it was just my kid imagination. I didn't have somebody saying to me like I would say to Lena, you know, that's just a movie that somebody made, right? Like I know that takes some of the fun out of it, but at the same time, I kind of I'm thinking that it keeps her from being as scared about some of that stuff. I don't know. Or it's just she's so desensitized due to... No, because I had people telling me that it was fake still, and I was scared. I don't know. Yeah, I, I mean, yeah. I knew that this stuff wasn't real, but... I knew it wasn't real, but... You know, Pennywise the Clown scared the fucking shit out of me when I was a kid. <laughs> like, Hence getting the tattoo of him? Yeah, you know, uh, Stephen King's movies, especially, you know... The, the Birds? That movie was fucked that's up. Hitchcock, yeah, I've seen that. Well, the that. fucking... I told the, Lena she's got to watch that. The cat, the cat on Pet Cemetery, and the kid with the scalpel—that was freaking traumatizing. Yeah, you know, I don't remember the kid that. getting ran over it. by the by the semi, it's and the then semi. coming back and like cutting people up with a freaking straight, you know, with a scalpel is pretty. I don't remember it. It's pretty know. hardcore, man. I don't remember that movie at all. You did see it. I That's did not see it exactly. That's why I don't remember the movie. <laughs> <laughs> you guys ever see Maximum Overdrive? Yeah, yeah, great fucking movie. Yeah, I mean, awesome. I'm sure it's yeah. terrible. But it it was great at the time. Machines came to life. Yeah, Steven. Like pop machines would spit out pops at somebody trying to get pop and kill them with all the pop cans. Oh, at first it sounded kind of fun. Like, ooh, I'm getting a lot of pop. But then you... Yeah. <laughs> 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 That's the best fucking behind the scenes of a thought process I've heard in forever. That's oh, I awesome. was like, ooh, we're getting a lot of pop. I'm excited. Genuine excitement because a couple pops were spitting out. They're like a dollar a piece, KFT. <laughs> I Back got a then, couple bucks, like fifty cents. <laughs> yeah, they were a quarter. I remember at Lloyd's they were thirty-five cents for a can, and you're like, "Holy fuck!" They're spitting out free pops. Like it's the ATM just spitting out cash. <laughs> There's twenties everywhere. <laughs> oh, they were killed by the twenties. Not as fun. Yeah, it's these, less uh, fun now. Yeah, these cans were coming out at this dude at like hundred <laughs> miles an hour, but it was like so ridiculous. He just lays there and takes yeah. it. And, like hits you him in the face. You could just step to the like, side. Oh, like he could uh, ran away. You could just move over a foot. <laughs> there was yeah, there was a there was literally a part in the movie when the machines start going like and attacking everybody. A guy literally just lays down in the middle of his yard and lets a fucking lawnmower run over him. He just stares at the lawnmower while it's coming at yeah, him and like, lets him run him over. That looking up shot where they're like scared and cowering. It's a lawnmower, <laughs> roll. Roll over one fucking thing. They're not yeah. even that wide. Move like, you know, a foot to this way. Yeah, just just roll once, maybe. Sometimes you're just so frozen in, in fear. You just don't know what to do. Get the fuck out Have of you ever been frozen in fear like that? Anybody? Has anybody ever been frozen in fear in general? I am sure it's happened. I can't think of a time where I was... I mean, it was pretty scary doing the thing, but only like in a creepy, it's dark, and I don't know where I'm at sense when we went to that Reader Road thing and walked through there. It's just, you know, you look at it and it's a creepy looking. Yeah. It's, and it's like, ooh, could there be somebody else in there? Not, Wait, are Reader, there ghosts? Wait, Road? Yeah, see, well, I don't see, think I've like, ever been scared like that in like Frozen. Like the one that I lived off of? No. Oh. No. Reader Road's in... Uh, it's like down south. No, it's like towards... Uh, where did Mark used to live? Oh. Dyer? Monster. Or Griffith. Or he lived Griffith. in Griffith. It was ne It's like Griffith area, somewhere around there. What's the story behind that? It's a bunch of nonsense. I mean, there was a road that went through there before, and... They stopped the road going through. They just kind of let it overgrow. But if you if you went down there, the, it's on that Haunted Indiana website. That's where I ended up seeing it. And we were just going to go check a bunch off our list just because. And we went there. And it was, it's just supposed to be like, you know, you look down the road and you see headlights coming at you. And then they, it drives past and it's like a 1940s car or something. And then it just disappears. Or, you know, or it offers you a ride or you know one of those stupid supernatural the tv show type of episodes mm -hmm. one of those things it doesn't really seem like it'd be scary no it's just scary because you're out in the woods and like you're oh, not yeah. supposed to be there 
the woods are scary as shit. I don't care do what you, you say. That's. Do you remember the video of or the picture of the house circulating on Facebook of the house in Gary with the floating? Yeah, thing I the, mean, come the fuck did on. You, oh, I saw did you that. hear? Did you hear about the guy that was going in there? He's making the movie. I can't roll my eyes any harder right now, Jen. So I'm just gonna say big fucking eye roll. They Just because to, it won't come across how much I want to roll my eyes at this guy. Is the whole thing s- fave? Well, no, they had to stop. They, he's, he's telling everyone that he, they had to stop production because of Somebody the quit hauntings. that was on the crew because they saw stuff happening. And they went and got the family that was had possessions happening there. And as soon as they came back, shit started happening. happening it's drumming up interest for a movie in my mind to me. And I, this is just my opinion. There is no ghosts. There's nothing that stuff doesn't exist. And what we see is what we get. And that's just stories well, to get people interested. That's just my opinion. Well, I mean, it. Gary's had some pretty bad shit happen there. If, yeah, any, if fucking anywhere Gary. a fucking horror story could be <laughs> fucking started, Gary, Indiana is a very good place to start. I just, unless I see something, in in this day and age where, because when I read about that house a while back, when they were talking about, you know, the social worker went in and then they saw a kid go up the wall. In this day and age of cell phones with video cameras on it, you're going to tell me nobody has recorded something like that? Show me that it, with some proof. Is this like no, the Amityville horror? That happens back in like the 90s, though. No, they're talking about recently that happened. No, but, the social worker, that was the one of the cases that happened with that family but there that was they was another. Back yeah, in. but there was a family that just left that house recently. That when somebody came there to check it out, they saw they brought a priest in to, exor- to you know, whatever they do. I forgot the term. Uh exorcism mm. so it is mm, yeah. or pose- you know whatever sure. they do it for the whole house exorcism yeah and he came in and saw one of the kids walk backwards up the wall or something and then they moved out well i'll tell you firsthand i've witnessed some shit that's unexplainable go on uh doors closing at a um place that i stayed at for three months it uh jail yeah, it was work release. <laughs> it was it's work release up here at the sheriff's building. He's like, no, yeah, it was jail. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyways, <laughs> um, I guess that used to um, they used to keep like the mental patients and shit there at the um, at the Kimbrough building and the sheriff's work release. Yeah. Um, but and, doesn't uh, that in itself make well, it sound then, like it's creepy and well, put thoughts into your head? Well, back then, too, you know, with mental patients and stuff, dude, there was, like, no mental health. You know, it was for inmates that were fucking crazy, dude. Yeah. So, dude, they'd lobotomize people there, you know what I'm saying? They'd fucking dig in their brains and shit, man. You know, creepy shit. I was in the attic, you know, scary, whatever, man. But um, legitimately, our door would be wide open in the middle of the fucking night, dude. You could sit there and watch it, man, and it will fucking close, man. You know, to come back open. Nobody there. Nothing. I mean, they have cameras going down the hallways, like uh, a couple. But you, the, you then see the door just shut by itself, it just, and there's boom, no wind. And you're or, like, yeah. You I know, mean, on the cameras. You get, yeah, you don't get to op- you don't get to uh, open the windows there. You know what I'm saying? Um, <laughs> fucking crazy, dude. To me, it's just one of and those like, things that they're always there's always some science behind it. For there's got to be something. A couple of the a couple of the guards there too. You know, they would. I mean. And I believe them, you know, that they see, you know, they've been there 15, 20 years. Like, hell yeah, you see some shit here, man, blah, blah, blah. I, you know. Okay, now think about it like this. Uh, When you have somebody like me who grew up in, not in a religious house, but in a God is real kind of a house, like, you know, take us to church occasionally thing, I was more prone to believing in God. And it took me a lot longer, I think, to come to my atheist whatever you want to call it, revelation or th- where, I, where I landed religiously. If you're always told that that shit is real and then you're sitting in a place, like you said, they work there, wouldn't you then be prone to take any noise that you might dismiss in a regular house and then make it something or ex- maybe expand upon it a little bit just to make it sound a little more, you know? I mean... You unexplained know. and supernatural before, is is there's a leap is all yeah, I'm saying before I even two. before I even knew of you know what type of place that was <laughs> you know I witnessed the doors closing and opening yeah. you know with my own two eyes you know like man this place is fucking weird you know what I'm saying so then I got the lowdown on you know what it used to be and shit like that I wonder why it's always places like that that I people mean, talk about is it because that's a creepy idea 
yeah. that we got a bunch of fucking whack jobs in this one building, a and who knows what they did to them there? Is yeah. that what it off, is? Going off of what they all say, like that's the only reason why the spirit or, the spirit or whatever hangs around because well, it was some unfinished thing, and you think about half the shit. Oh, like they're trying to get like justice people being for, tortured or yeah, I mean like have, unjustified or at least have that exposed. Have what happened seen, uh, to them? You guys seen one flew over the cuckoo's nest? Oh, awesome. yeah, I did. I saw yeah. that for the first yeah, time a couple years ago or yeah. this year, I think. You know, and fucking they're getting electroshock and shit like that, dude. You know, that's not fucking. That's crazy shit, man. That's Tis. how it was back then, and uh, that's how they treated it. Yeah, I mean that's. Uh, that was the norm. I guess the the part that I have a hard time figuring out is why that gets linked then to the afterlife. Why does people getting tortured and stuff just because it's inherent? We inherently go, God, that's fucked up. I think it's like how Jen said. It's like the unfinished. Their spirits have unfinished. Yeah. So because they got so much bad shit done to them, that's why we usually associate them. I mean, someone them that with knows that they're dying and they're that. dying peacefully, like peacefully at their in their home or even in a hospital, they yeah. know that it's happening. Someone that's unjustly like tied down and having their life taken yeah. away from them. They haven't like crossed over. Okay. Yeah, I'm just curious why it always ends up being a creepy place. Like, why is it never a well lit? Because you have to <laughs> <laughs> clean <laughs> building. <laughs> well, I mean, in the middle of the day, in like uh, the death camps and stuff in uh, Europe, Poland and stuff like that, you know, people say that when they visit them, you know, you could just sense the eeriness, just the, you know, just that really bad fucking things happen there. You know what I'm saying? Like, you could feel it in the fucking air you know what if you didn't know I'm, I'm feeling like stuff like that it's where uh people you get influenced by just thinking that that's uh, knowing the history of it you know by somebody always telling you you know oh that place is haunted or just the idea of mere hauntings uh, it feels like to me it's it's just as easy to if i was here home alone i wouldn't think for a second if i heard a door shut or something like that, I wouldn't think ghost. I would just chalk it up to, oh, the cat brushed against it, or I'd come up, my brain wouldn't even think twice about it. It would just be like, oh, that door just shut. Yeah, I mean, that's, you know... But in there, you're like, oh, somebody's, somebody had told me before that this place is haunted. Oh, shit, it's almost like the opposite, where you, you're paying hyper-attention to stuff. Right, no, and, you know... Especially... I'm just a skeptic in a lot of ways, and, and I like you, to talk through it, When you, know? you think that, you know... When you think that you're feeling some type of way, you could trick yourself into that, you know, like when you're cold and you like sit there and think of a, you know, a hot place, you know, you concentrate on that, you know, you feel a little bit better, you know. Or even placebo effect. Remember, was that you that uh, at Rachel's house we got uh, acid on, uh, it was on paper. Uh, no. Yeah, or no, that you were on the other end of that deal. I'm pretty sure you guys gave it to us. Uh, I believe it was Gasaways. That it was like piss on paper or something. Anyways, whatever it was, we took it and we were we thought we were tripping for a little bit, and then after like an hour, we realized, oh, we're actually not. But because we thought, oh, this is the feelings we should be having, within twenty minutes, we're like, oh, you feeling that? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, like you happens. trick your fucking brain into going, oh yeah, that's a thing. Yeah, I'm definitely feeling this shit. Oh, this is yeah. good shit. Uh, and then man, you say I'm, something stupid. Yeah, you're like, oh, dude, I got the, you know, you get the nervous in your fucking stomach and shit like that. Yeah. Like, oh, man, getting ready for a ride. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a look of disappointment in everybody's eyes. Like, what did I miss? What are we talking about? Oh, the, we were just talking about getting bunk acid. Mm. If you get acid, take it, and you all think you're going to start tripping, and then you realize about an hour into it, oh, we're actually not, but somewhere along that, in that hour, you were like, oh, man, you feeling that? You know, like, you're just tricking your brain into it. It was kind of an offshoot from the uh, going into a place that people have told you is haunted. So your brain probably goes, oh, that sound, that was probably yeah. a thing. Whereas here, you just go, ah, door shut. It's just the creak in the house. Yeah. It's settling. Yeah, so that's how, that's how it spun so quickly into us doing acid as children. Ah! As children, <laughs> <laughs> as young, very young children. I mean, we were. I was not eighteen. I wouldn't I think. I never got to experience that, and uh, I never will because drugs are illegal and bad. Who and gives bad. a shit? 
Um, yeah, I don't know. Just I won't. I won't. I almost feel like I should do acid again as opposed to mushrooms because the last time I did mushrooms a couple of years ago, I didn't like it. I, I took that, too much. I thought mushrooms, like, I heard that you can't have a bad trip off mushrooms, but you can off acid. Um, I don't know. I've seen people throw up off of shrooms, like, yeah, really bad and stuff. I've heard know? that, but. But I don't know. That's what scares me. I, that, ate, I ate far too many. Yeah. Uh, I, think, uh, I think I split, like, an eighth or a quarter or something. Like, it was a stupid amount and did not enjoy it at all. I watched Limitless. That was the highlight. I remember Big L stopping by and I'm like, everything is weird. Like everything is fucking weird. In like a good way weird. No, or just weird? no, I didn't like it at all. But yeah. I, I used to love the every five years or so. It was like a palate cleanser, you know, where you could do acid or shrooms or something just that one time and It'll just play. take like an eight hour break from reality. But I was still thinking about reality. Like, I had grown up too much. Like, that fucking sucks. Yeah, man. What yeah. kind of bullshit is that? I want to be able to veg out for eight hours and not think about, oh, I have footage to edit. Or, hey, Lena's got to go to blah, blah tomorrow. Or, you know what I mean? Any of those things. Like, that's the whole point of doing something like acid or mushrooms is to just fucking relax. And No, nah, man. I get anxiety just thinking about it. and It's been since I was, like, 17. Really? It's like been it that long? That bad? Uh, I just... No, it was the shit. Like, uh, you didn't enjoy it? Yeah, I mean, Well, then dude, why do you have anxiety? Of course, sometimes... It's just crazy to think how out of control your life is at that point in time. But it's like, not really. It's all just in your head. Ugh. There's literally nothing else going on. Oh, fuck. Nothing <laughs> unusual is happening. The taste... Oh, like, uh, yeah, you can never get the taste out of your never mouth. Never really ever... Like, you, you always like think that. that you shit your fucking pants. What? You're like... Did you always thought you shit your pants? Yeah, dude. <laughs> I never had that. I, I, I don't know, man. Tell me, like, more, tell me more generalizations. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not the only one, dude. I had, a, I had a friend that swore to God that he shit, that he shit his pants. And he was looking We're not me, talking robo-tripping now, are we? No, man. He's looking at me, you know, he's a fucking big guy, too. He's looking at me dead in the eyes. Like, no, dude, I shit my fucking pants. Did you have to, like, <laughs> like, I'm like, no, dude. Um, you just stick a finger in, yeah, yeah, that's brown. Okay. <laughs> Well, that's what I do for Liam. You know? oh, I was like, no, dude. I was like, it's just your fucking nuts. Chill out, you know? It's he's just like, your nuts. He's like, it's no, nuts. then I fucking shit on my nuts. He thought his nuts were shit? Oh. Is that what you're telling me? And, yeah, seriously, I was, and he was dead serious. He's just looking at me like, I did shit my pants, and then, you know. <laughs> I wouldn't be telling people that. I would just excuse and, you know, myself. What else are you going like, to do hey, at that point? I just shit my fucking pants. <laughs> I, I thought other people got that that feeling also, but yeah, uh, I was always like, "Oh man!" I remember Can loving I those. Pants? I remember loving those little orange. <laughs> what were those orange tablets? Those vitamin C things? Like you had the worst. I mean, that's probably what gave me diabetes in retrospect. <laughs> what? <laughs> probably taking all those fucking vitamin C tablets. They're probably just like pure sugar. Yeah, they're yummy. What do they though. call it? Daily C's or something? Daily C's, yeah. We would eat a fucking roll of those in yeah. the night. Mm. Yeah. And those are meant fucking, to be for like a month. <laughs> they tear the roof of your mouth up. Something fierce, dude. It's so delicious. <laughs> the first couple? <laughs> mm. Yeah, I think eating a package of those would make you want to shit your pants too, you know? What are they for? Vitamin C. Oh, does. just because vitamin C is supposed to enhance your trip. For That's just one of those things that's been passed along as common knowledge. You know, you if you trip, you do vitamin C, and it'll en en enhance it. I don't know why. I don't know that there's anything to it, but yeah. we always did it. Wow. I've never heard that. I think that's why... You like remember that, that, ain't it? Well, As people, a thing? I know people drink orange juice. I'll put, don't yeah, act like I'm crazy over put, there. <laughs> I'd put Southern Comfort in an orange and juice everything. and drink it. Whoa. Uh, do you remember... Oh. Do you remember the one time, oh, fuck. Justin, where we... Where we dropped acid and then chugged a 40. Dude, I don't know, man. And then when, in about a half hour later, it was just like, holy fuck, can't move even if I wanted to, too drunk. And, and then started tripping our balls off. <laughs> Ridiculous. Yeah, it was just I know we were just sitting in the basement. No, we were just sitting in the basement. Oh, shit, We were man. definitely in the basement. We went over there with that intent. Like, I had never drank whilst tripping. And it was like, oh, let's drink a 40 in the meantime while we're waiting for it to kick in. 
Dude, I don't remember that. I remember <laughs> one time fucking being shit faced on the back porch at your old house. What at Los Olas? Yeah, dude. Fucking, we we're so wasted, dude. You didn't even want to get up to pee. You're like sitting down. You freaking pee off the porch. Fucking as you're peeing, Riley comes up and starts fucking licking it. <laughs> it's like, oh man, it's like still coming out of your dong. And the d- dog's fucking just laughing it up. I couldn't fucking do anything besides sit there and laugh my well, ass. Well, obviously, off. what are you gonna do in that state? You know, you're just like, what? What are you doing, dude? No. The weirdest shit, though. Like I really believed at the time that I was seeing the that snowflake pattern. Do you recall that at all? Maybe it obviously wouldn't be the same thing in both our brains, but there was like. Was it snowing? No, it's not. It wasn't snow. It would be on a bunch of stuff. Do you do you remember that at all? Uh, do you know remember. what I'm talking about? I don't remember that specifically, but no. I mean, you do hallucinate when you take the shit. So. Yeah, I mean, it would just be on everything, and it would just fit into every texture. That it was weird. Do I you would... guys remember the anti-drug videos we would have to watch <laughs> in like elementary school, or show people that took acid, and then I remember they'd them be on for the, the road, weed part. and then there'd be like a brick wall. And like I don't remember this. that, but I remember the weed part where they would make it like you were tripping on acid if you smoked a joint like or something. Flipping out, and things. sweating, like I need it. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> it's like fucking on your knees crying What they didn't show is the guy just had was forced to run before that And he's like I just want to smoke a joint <laughs> You're like hitting him with a cattle prod before <laughs> That's pretty good cattle prod noise You, you practice that? Have <laughs> you been again. working on that? Do yeah I, I'm a jack of all trades it, it, sounds off, it sounds an awful lot like you punching douche, somebody Douche, douche, douche <laughs> That sounds that like douche Noise <laughs> during other things too <laughs> Oh good God! He's just like oh, I can't even. I can't do his noise. <laughs> was that the vibrator? What was that? What the fuck? Was, or was that was that my phone? Fucking getting a text message. It was like v-v-v-. yeah, phone. Exactly. It's, it's a big phone. That doesn't mean it's used for any other DVD. I'm wearing vibrating panties. You took mine again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I bet that's a thing. No, it totally is. <laughs> yeah. I didn't realize you knew for. F- I thought you were just making it up. And oh, one hundred percent. Vibrating panties. Or yeah. yeah. Where it, it, and the guy will actually you have got the like controller. the remote. Yeah. And you'll be in public place and just click it on. I see. Okay. Yeah. I wear them all the time. <laughs> 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 Who's got the remote? Me, me, you, Liam. <laughs> Liam. <laughs> oh no, my God! Absolutely. Whoa! Uh, Whoa! Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's no. just got the remote, just zapping away. Can we like send a tape of this to my mom? We could. I mean, it, well, it's on the internet, or it will be on the internet. Oh, okay. okay. So she could just, if she wants to subscribe on iTunes, <laughs> it'll just download right to her phone for her. <laughs> I could not tag you in it, for example. It's not like she's going to stumble upon it somewhere. So few people listen. There's no way your mom is going to happen to be one of them. No, my mom doesn't know how to use that. But uh, what's her email address so I can forward it? Just to make everything clear, I don't own any vibrating panties. I, was <laughs> I love that you have to now uh, tell us what was a bit, which part of what you've been saying is a bit, you in case go she's way listening. Way back. Yeah, let's uh, <laughs> let's just get the story. Let's straight have here. a list of all the things that Justin said that is not this has factual. Been a test. <laughs> this, this is Justin's lawyer. <laughs> yeah, we need you need a publicist. Somebody tell me what you can and PR. can't say. Yeah. Faux show. I was trying to think of something clever to have PR mean, but no, uh, no, didn't work. Uh, Punt return. <laughs> okay, I mean that's, that's a thing. not bad, right? That is a thing, definitely. I mean, is there any things going on? What the fuck? Why are people bitching about video games? Who? I saw you post that, and I was like, Who? you're the only person that I've seen bitching about. Some, people bitching about video games. Uh, th- there was a whole thing on Twitter called Gamergate where they were talking about how video games are misogynistic and how it builds a damsel in distress culture and all this garbage about, you know, because the princess needs the man to be saved. So why aren't there any games where the woman saves the man? And, uh, you know what I mean? Uh, Just uh, 
that video games by Fuck their very that. nature are <laughs> misogynistic to women. Fucking freaking- goddamn bar- fucking bra burners. So that was going on, and then somebody was bitching about how uh, they said, "Oh, you can, we can land, humans can land a, a capsule or whatever, a spaceship on a, a comet." And yet, video game developers can't release a game without day one downloadable content update. Or, I mean, day one download update as soon as you get the fucking game. Like, that they can plan that far ahead that they can land on a fucking moving comet in space. But these game developers need to release, you know, an update as soon as you get the game so you can't play for four hours or whatever while you're waiting for it to download. But it's just like, what the fuck? Why is everybody complaining so goddamn much? I don't know. Can't you? Do, it's video games. Like I like I like my video games. Exactly. Isn't that the point of them to be fun? If it's not fun, what the fuck are you doing? Uh, you cannot many, play. Yeah, too exactly. Many buttons. Yeah. <laughs> too Kelly many buttons. buttons. She sums it up. Too, too many, many buttons. buttons. <laughs> Kelly got woke up last night. <laughs> I from, like uh, Atari, then Nintendo, then yeah, the buttons got carried away, and I was like, sure. I know. I really do. Just like I, I could go Super Nintendo. I can yeah. go as high as Super Nintendo with the four buttons on the right and the up, down, left, right. I and don't then like an Xbox controller. It, it gets there's too many once you start getting Xbox, PlayStation. It's too big. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the PlayStation <laughs> One is more comfortable, I guess, because that's basically the same thing as the old Super Nintendo, Nintendo controllers. Yeah. yeah. But even those started getting. Then they got the joysticks, and then they got the fucking things. They got the rumble packs and the. <sighs> When do we get to play video games like in the future? Dude, did you see the PS4 on your TV? That freaking looked amazing. It did. It looked better you than the game. You cannot deny how badass oh, that game, that Madden and UFC looked. Like, y- you can mistake it for watching UFC, the real shit. UFC, not as much as Madden. Yeah, Madden but looked crazy. Madden looked fucking like, in, like you could go down there and touch the grass. Like, it looked that clear. Yeah. But the UFC, the the faces, they haven't quite got the faces right. They're they're getting there. But dude, the online play on that game is so fucking awesome because you play people across the world. You know what I'm saying? And then on the PS4, you get a microphone in the you know when you buy it, they yeah. give you a microphone. So dude, you're freaking beating the shit out of people talking shit, man. It's fucking great. Oh my god. Okay, so I wake up one thirty in the morning <laughs> to. <laughs> yeah, me. Oh my god! I arguing needed... with some dude from like. Freaking... All I hear is I fucked your mom. He's got his headset on, like going yeah. on and on, and I'm like, I'm trying to sleep. <laughs> yeah, you know it gets pretty competitive, and you know it gets pretty competitive. Uh, next yeah, thing you know, you know, I dude, fucked your mom. It, it always ends <laughs> up something with the mom. Oh yeah, you got to go there. Is that the ultimate insult in the gaming well, I world? Mean, it Where is, does it go? I What's mean. is there like a line? No hell no. There's literally you no. could literally say anything. Eddie no, did, Eddie he did, was. Yeah, saying. you wouldn't believe the things that I would tell somebody on there. Like, like what? Give me a blast. Me, I mean, I'm you know talking about freaking giving their mom the fucking pile driver in the ass and like all types of shit, you know? Because I'm like picking them up and slamming them on the game, and I'm like, yeah, just like I fucked your mom the other night, you know. You know, you know. Meanwhile, I'm trying to sleep. But yeah. like, would you, for example, say something like, "I hope your mom gets ovarian cancer"? No. Oh. That's what I mean. Is there a line? That's what I'm asking. What's the well, line in video t- game shit talk? It's I don't okay know about video f- game shit talk. Fuck the mom, but <laughs> you don't want her to die. Well. Yeah, you don't really wish death upon somebody. Yeah, that, I guess so be it if she gets a. So it's pretty tame, her, is you know. what you're saying. Yeah, I mean, it's relatively speaking pretty tame. It's not. It's not being real controversial. I mean, it's uh, not that serious to where you're like, I hope people die. You know, it's a fucking video game. I know, but, but you're just you know, saying but shit. To degrade somebody that you're never going to see. Where imagine, was the dude from? imagine what their reaction would be if you said that. That would throw them off their game. You fucking have to try. I hope your mother dies of ovarian cancer. <laughs> what? Dude, absolutely what not. From, like- That's fucking bad fucking feng shui, man. That's bad karma. I mean, make up any disease. Wasn't he from, like, India? Yeah, he was, he was like, Baghdad hey, fuck or- you, buddy, fuck you, you know? He, 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 fucking talking like a poo and shit. He was telling him that he fucks camels and... See, so that, wow, so racism uh, is totally yeah. fine, but, oh, but yeah. wishing mothers to die, yeah. that's, that's the line. I wasn't being racist. 
You know, I mean, I wasn't being racist. I was just dropping sand n words all I, over the place. Hey, I never said that. I have to pee. <laughs> oh, that that's great. Thanks, <laughs> thanks, Kelly. That was the pee break segment. In case anybody was wondering if there was going to be that, we usually have the pee break segment, and we are now in the pee break. Doot. Yeah. <laughs> Where the pee break? Hold on. Yeah. <laughs> it's probably just her uh, urinary tract infection or yeast infection, whatever it is, you know. The, not uh, ovarian cancer? No, definitely not ovarian okay. cancer. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to find out where the fucking what you can say to people in those games. You just don't say that. How awesome would that be, though? But you said there's no rules. You can say anything. Dude. So you can't. There I are mean, rules. If you have any. Type. I had sex with your seven year old sister, for example. <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't say that. Why? Ever. Wouldn't that throw people off their game totally? Wouldn't you stop and A, laugh, and B, be like, holy fuck, what did you just say? Isn't the point to really fuck with people? You, oh, yeah. <laughs> it sounds like fucking basketball. And it's dude. not like somebody's recording it, it's just happening. <laughs> Come on. If you're gonna talk shit, no, man, I won't go there. I'll, you know, I'll stick to. I'm gonna bang your mom or your sister, or your old lady type weak. of deal. That's weak, guy. It's weak that you can't just can't roll with it. Okay, mm. I'm back from the bathroom. I just so, <laughs> wait, who do you want to bang? People's moms in general. In general, it's usually gamers like on PlayStation Four. Oh, I threw that in there. I said, or for example, you couldn't say to someone, I had sex with your seven year old sister. Oh, like to, the again, age. again for the throwing. Mm. Exactly. The age. But they would then be drunk. <laughs> what? No. My seven. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> mm. There, I think gaming shit talking needs to be upped. It needs to go to another level. Just to clarify that, I know. Way, shape, or form agreed with the seven year old remark either. What do you mean agreed with insane. it? It was just a made up <laughs> statement. It's true. That's way too far. It's way too far. So I wouldn't Where do go there. you even come up with this stuff? I just was trying to think of stuff that would offend people. That's all. You're very weird. Yeah. That is, that's the very things offensive. that you have said, like, like, I wish your mom has ovarian cancer and. I came in your dad's wheelchair. I'm yeah. gonna fuck your <laughs> seven year old son. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Oh. That was pretty good too, right? Wow! And you put them all in a row like that? Like <laughs> I know you don't have to do that. I don't fucking think that's like that. It was just right a. There. Yeah, that's that's it. That's We're getting divorced. Changer. We're done. She's she's leaving me now because I said I came in her dad's wheelchair. You, you can see the exact moment in her Does head where she's like, "Yeah, wheelchair? this is over with." I don't know my dad. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. Not your dad. It wasn't him. Hmm. It wasn't him. So there was somebody that you came in their wheelchair. I mean, it's inevitable. On. It's Aww. inevitable. Not in. I didn't. Ha I didn't penetrate the wheelchair. Let's not be ridiculous. Yeah, I mean, but there's a lot of wheelchairs out there, and you know, <laughs> a wheelchair is going to get came on. You know what I'm saying? It's going to fucking. It's happen. bound there's, to happen. There's bound to happen that somebody's wheelchair is. Gonna I didn't get say I did it on. maliciously or habitually. Yeah. It may have just happened once. But that's something you could say to somebody that might throw them off their game. And yeah. I feel like that's the point of shit talk. Like if a crippled person went to the, you know, the adult sex store and, you know, he's out in a wheelchair, you know, he's behind the glory hole. He's getting uh, his freaking wheelchair came on for sure, dude. But he would, You don't know. He could be uh, coming in But I said somebody's dad's, somebody's dad's wheelchair. You could put a sock so Unless he it. faked having a heterosexual wife and kid. And then started blowing dudes in a stall once he was People in a wheelchair. Do that. People do that. That could be the case, but I would think, generally yeah. speaking, mm. if you're in a stall uh, blowing, dude, well, maybe that's pretty common. I guess I was, uh, yeah, maybe, but in a wheelchair too. A dad in a wheelchair because that takes away his ability to reproduce more than likely. Mm. Mm. Yeah, more of a reason. More of a reason to blow dudes, or more of a reason <laughs> to come on the wheelchair? Because <laughs> wouldn't, it <laughs> wouldn't it be just limp? <laughs> I don't, but he's Isn't not like sticking. A wait a minute, he's not sticking his through the glory hole. That's not how it works. Can you? Can you? It's not just like falling out, pouring out the other side. Can, can you? <laughs> oh God! <laughs> can you come with a catheter in? That would fucking hurt. Mm, I, would I it just go know. into the catheter? Yeah, I don't know. 
I've had a couple catheters. Can, do you pee with a catheter in? Yeah. Well, yeah, it just. Well, yeah, then, yeah so of course you do. That's what it's for. Yeah, well, then, that's exactly yeah. what it's for. It just drains out of your. Yeah, there bladder. would there would be spasming and hardness that you probably wouldn't have otherwise when that was in your dick. Ah. That probably wouldn't feel good enough to get hard. I don't know about me, but Fuck. apparently that turns you on. Catheters hurt. Oh, I get so many boners when I have catheters oh. in. Oh. Somebody, no, ca- it's, it's a catheter boner. It's, it's, a catheter boner. It's legitimately the worst pain I've ever been in. I've just been channeling my inner Rafi. Yeah, it freaking hurts. Oh, just I thinking about it. I don't remember how it felt. I don't. I don't think I felt it. What? I, I can't stop moving around. Though. An orgasm or a catheter? A catheter. <laughs> <laughs> okay, just checking. They kept me awake for that. <laughs> Worried about that one. Oh, I wasn't out. I didn't have any pain medication, but they used one. But I don't. I don't. Oh I was in God. This podcast is spots- sponsored by <laughs> Albany's Candy Factory Gummy Bears. They're fucking delicious, and I have diabetes. Nice. Mm. There might be a cure for diabetes. Yeah, did you hear what it was? Yeah. What? E- eating a, co- a lot a c- of... A cholesterol medication? No. Yeah, oh, I'm talking, talking about, about medicine. Study. I'm talking about science. Oh, I thought you were talking about the study that the people did that they... They took six people, different ages, and uh, basically sent them to another country to this doctor that said that he, he could reverse diabetes. And one guy who was like the oldest ended up leaving because he just felt that he was too old and he wanted to eat food, basically. Uh-huh. <laughs> and what they he was basically making them all eat... Uh, all natural food, on cooked food. Oh, like raw. raw. S- yeah. Mm. And by the end of it, all of them no longer needed insulin. Yeah, but they didn't go back to eating regular food either. I've heard that. It's not like they went back and got McDonald's on their mm. way home and then they're, they still don't have diabetes. They have to eat that shitty way for the rest of their life. Mm-hmm. That's not what I'm talking about at all. I'm talking about something Sam posted. Uh, it basically... In, there's a drug inside of a cholesterol medication. I can't remember the name of it. And in in mice tests, there's there are beta cells that are what produce insulin in your pancreas. The beta cells dying is what causes diabetes. So this drug, this cholesterol drug, not only stops the beta cells from dying, it regenerates ones that are already dead. Or you know what I mean? It brings them back, b- thereby curing diabetes. And they're about to start human trials. That's and it's for sweet. type one diabetes, which I found out I have after having diabetes for eight years. Yeah. Ridiculous. That I, I found out I had diabetes in two thousand three, and I was told I had type two, and I didn't find find out I had type one until what? was that this year? What is the difference? Mm. I don't. I don't know. Uh, one. Oh, shit. Type one, it my is body doesn't make any insulin. Any, type two, it does, but a it, little, but not enough to cover it. Yeah. Do you have a pump? No, no, I just take shots. They want me to go on the pump, but I don't trust the math for how much insulin I should take, and I don't like the carb counting. And uh, yeah, it's bullshit. I mean, I'm sure there's something to it, but I haven't figured out my formula yet, and I know roughly what I need. I eat the ki- same kinds of meals all the time, so I just go, oh, it's the chips and salsa for lunch, so okay, well, then I take 16 units if my blood sugar was good when I, you know, when I right before I ate. So I've just kind of figured out certain meals, and I'll go, oh, it was a little high before I ate, so I'll add three units to it and take 19. So that's why you don't want to take the pump. No, I mean, I guess in theory, but they want me to be confident in carb counting because they say, but I mean, I guess I could just use the pump and and put in the same amount that I would be taking if I was hand ingesting, injecting it in theory. No, because the pump automatically does it. No, it doesn't. Your sugar is at. It absolutely does not. The pump, that's the bullshit part about it, Jen. That's the thing that makes me go, why do I need that? I could just take the shots. Basically, I have to wear this fucking thing on me all the time, like on my side. So get I, a, I got some, pack. I got some kind of fucking machinery on me besides my hearing aid now. So awesome! I got two. Th- I'm becoming a cyborg, <laughs> and not even like a cool one with like Google Glass or anything. Yeah. Uh, 
So I got to wear that thing. It doesn't check my sugar. I have to check my sugar still because it's not reliable enough. You don't want a unit checking your sugar and then doling out insulin. What if it got a bad reading and it gave you too much and could kill you? So I have to still do the the pricks on my finger. And then I have to put into the thing. I have to pick up a thing and put in how much my blood sugar was and how how many carbs I'm eating. And then it calculates how much insulin to give me. Whereas now I would just go, oh, I need 16 units with this meal. And take the 16 units. I mean, I guess I could just tell the thing, give me 16 units. But it doesn't. It hardly seems worth it to have something on me 24-7 for three or four uh, doses a day. You know? I don't know. Don't you have to cover it when you take a shower or, like, swim? Yeah, e- either that or take yeah. it off. or That's a pain in the ass. Like, I don't know. I, he said only one person has ever come back from the pump and said, I want to go back to the shots. One patient he ever had. And it was a, vo- a professional volleyball player who said it just wasn't worth it as an athlete to have that on them while they were playing volleyball. You know, just for yeah. the, she just went back to the shots because it was just more convenient. I just think you should do the raw diet. W- would you eat raw food? <laughs> Not would. raw meat. Not raw meat. Well, no shit. I don't think raw meat counts. I don't think that's on oh, the diet. I've definitely seen people that eat fucking raw meat and shit. No, what are you I watching? went on a I went on a detox diet one time. Oh, you did just, just watch a bunch of Walking Dead. All raw. Everything was raw. I made. Pies and salads and everything. What do you mean? How I is a how could you have a? Ra- I'm not being gross. How could you have a raw pie? Like the crust was like wal- raw, like walnuts and stuff, and it was like a layer. Like it was a whole recipe, but everything was raw. Nothing was cooked, and it was delicious. Well, there's a lady. I just saw a thing this week about a 70 year old lady who looks like she's like 30, and she she does only f- eats raw. So, I mean, there's something to it, but it's... It's because all the enzymes and that yeah. you're not cooking out when you cook your food. Well, I already fucking gave up smoking, goddammit. I've, I've sacrificed enough. Uh, That's how I feel. I don't see the big draw in living, like, really, really old anyways, you know what I'm saying? Like... How old do you want to yeah. live to? What's your, what's your ideal age? Like, 34. <laughs> yeah, I want to make it to, like... Well... Well, I got a thing next next Tuesday, but after that, I'm good. Yeah, you know. <laughs> Just all casual. At least till like, okay. our wedding. Yeah. Ryan will be five in April, so I got to make he'll it. Be able, least... He'll basically be able to support himself. So, yeah, he'll yeah. pat his fill so, you. You know, <laughs> you know, five, you know. You've done your job at that yeah, point it's... as a parent. No, you got about 13 more years than he's 18, you know. Your yeah. liver doesn't have 13 more years. I'm in great shape. Mm-hmm. A rail thin is a shape now, huh? <laughs> hmm. How are you still so thin? How do you just not absorb food? Do you not eat food? Do you just drink alcohol and then yeah. Yeah. vomit it back up? <laughs> Steady he, diet of vodka. Drunk, yeah. He's lost weight since moving in with me, and I've gained weight since he moved in with me. Yeah, she like eats all the food and doesn't let me have any. <laughs> <laughs> That's that sounds like that would be why. Yeah, it's, you know, everybody else gets eat besides me. I think it's because you forced me to drink every night. Yeah, you know. Well, he he knows that uh, that he must intoxicate you. See, that that that's a bunch of crap. <laughs> I remember I, you giving me shit about that, saying, "Oh, Jen got drunk, so I can't." Uh, <laughs> I can't. He's like, "Oh, she's going to get drunk to have sex with you." Oh, fuck off. <laughs> uh, doesn't have to. Yeah, I, I can't successfully. I can't drink two days in a row. I mean, my hangover. You last used I, to be able to. Yeah, in the younger days, but dude, because your liver can't handle it anymore. My hangovers last like two days. Corroding. But I'm pretty healthy, so I took 24 <laughs> beers. We'll yeah, it. but I mean, what? I did not drink 24 <laughs> beers. Oh, I'm so sorry, like, 18. You also <laughs> How do you? You also mixed it with other stuff. Crack. Uh, yeah, uh, I mean, base rocks. Some black tar heroin. <laughs> you know, um, yeah, I drank some Bacardi. Do I had like half of a shooter? 
I drank that and like eight 16 ounce cans. I guess I don't get the the going in excess with alcohol. Like it's it's like you've gotten there, I, you've gotten to the destination, you're already yeah. drunk. Why are you still drinking? I didn't even know all this was going on. So what? like one thirty in the morning when he was like, Fuck your mom. <laughs> I'm like, what? Why would you say that on the podcast? You were just worried about her listening before, and now you just said that he said fuck her. Yeah, that I was gonna f- that I was gonna fuck the dude's mom. Oh, on the video game. Talking to the other. I guy. thought you were <laughs> saying he was bitching about your mom. Sorry, and he was just like, oh, "Fuck her, fuck your mom." <laughs> I'm like, why would you say that if you're worried about other stuff? Yeah, I'm just like randomly. <laughs> yeah, just like, drinking, hey, you know what? Fuck your mom. While she's sleeping, like, fuck your mom. <laughs> I don't know. You know. That's what normal people do, right? Yeah. Stay up drinking and just stare at their, you know, significant other and tell them how much they their hate parent. their yeah. parental units. That's normal fucking. <laughs> I don't know what's no- what is shit. normal. What's normal for you? What's an evening like for in the Keel household? The Keel Foster's Trent residence. The KFT household. It's really loud. Oh. Yeah. I get attacked, <laughs> beat up. Yeah, I it's usually cry a myself to sleep. Yeah. Yeah, it gets pretty bad. So pretty mundane stuff, regular. Yeah. It's like normal. Yeah, you know. It's uh it's pretty calm over there, you know. Yeah. You know, you got that couch bed. That's yeah, some good great. stuff. Yeah. If you don't want to if you're tired of just lying on the regular couch, the old couch. The old bed. the old folding fuck. <laughs> nice. We do not do that. What is, what's going on over there, wife? No, no. no not Have you seen any married. news stuff that's bothered you this week? No. Did you see that fucking thing that uh, that video of that guy who got paralyzed for his huh. wedding? Yes. Yeah. Oh yeah, and he like danced or something. Yeah, that. Come Wait, on. He got paralyzed just for his wedding. No. <laughs> I love that you said that, but no. <laughs> He's trying to he get got paralyzed, paralyzed for, for his, his wedding. wedding. Like, that's a thing you do. <laughs> yeah, we went and got... Oh, we got so no, fucking paralyzed got, the other night. Holy shit. He got into a motorcycle <laughs> accident. And he was a soldier. And his, he was, like, suffering from whatever. And that's why he rode the bike all the time. But he got in a, a motorcycle accident and fucked up his spine or something. And was paralyzed from the chest down. And for his Someone's wedding... Someone's not getting laid on their wedding night. Her. <laughs> His penis doesn't work. <laughs> Go on. Wow. Okay, Go continue on. your story, though. Is, um, is that factually inaccurate? Did I somehow I misinterpret? That, I, I don't know that. That's... Uh, if, his, if he's paralyzed from the chest down, uh, where's his penis? Above his chest? That's a weird-shaped <laughs> penis. And oh, he can't use his hands at least... Oh, yeah, for sure. His Wait, hands are free. Get her with a dildo? But are they? Are your hand Because if you think about it, ch- does he have to keep them up? Well, everything. His hands were, his arms were fine. Yeah. Oh, that's right. He was hugging her. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and if you think, you know, all the stuff that controls your arms. Oh, they mean literally torso down. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All your nerves and stuff like that are going to start up here for your arms. Him, well, anyways, his friends. Learned that in med school. His friends rigged it so he was standing so they could dance. Yeah, for the first dance at the wedding. He was like on a harness and she walked in the room and he was standing. It was really sweet. I teared up. That was pretty cool. That was sweet. It was. Yeah. Hashtag yep. daily cry. Mm-hmm. Are you a crier? No. Uh, you Have I, I asked I, you? I've only... I've only You've I've seen only, me cry I've, one time. One time. Like yeah. No, you. I'm asking about you. Do you oh, cry? Me? Oh, nightly. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It lets the hurt out. No? No, I don't... I don't You're not a crier? I don't... Jen? No. But I don't think anybody's ever seen me cry. Ever. I've seen you cry. I cry. Yeah? I've seen you cry. Do you like crying, though? No. See, I like it. I'm a fan. Really? Absolutely. I'm a fan. It's very therapeutic. It feels awesome afterwards. You just, like, you start with a blank slate. You get all your priorities in order because you're like, oh, I guess that thing didn't really matter because of what I just watched or whatever just happened that made me cry. Like, that was far more moving than, oh, that girl at work being a dick. or You know what I mean? Like, anything like that. It For me, it's a, it kind of is, it recalibrates me. 
I might cry right now. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off. That wasn't uh. moving. Should, should we should we all just cry? Is, well, I mean, is, is I've gotten... Mean? You'd be surprised. I've gotten Tony and Big Al to cry on the podcast. <laughs> like, legitimate tears. They were both <laughs> screaming. Um, I'm fully medicated. I won't cry right now. Okay. Do, like, <laughs> do you touch him inappropriately? Or no. bring up some, like... Why would know? he cry? Maybe um, he'd like it. Big Al was <laughs> talking about a family member oh, who, okay. was, who had something wrong with him. And yeah. Tony was talking about a good friend who died. Yeah, okay. Well, yeah, Those I mean, are I legit. Could, yeah, I used but to. But that's what we do here. It's just therapy hour. You know, we talk through things. Definitely, you know. It's, tell me what's bothering you, pal. Come sit on my knee. I mean, Veterans Don't Day was. Say everybody you know, Mike. Veterans Day was yesterday. You yeah. Know, you know, Nick was with my best friend for, for a while. I know? didn't know him very well, but I knew yeah. of him, you know. I remember him as Taco Neck Syndrome. That for some reason, that name, it was such a good name oh, that yeah. it stuck with me for oh, so yeah, long. Definitely. Because I probably met him once. I remember him coming over to Las Olas' house yeah, one time. Yeah, he was over there, and he used to party at Fogarty's, too. I, I, I brought him over to Fogues yeah. and uh, Jessica's. And what happened? How did he die? Just he in combat? Shot. Yeah, he got shot, ambushed in uh, Ramadi. Damn. Yeah. And that was nearly nine years ago, ten Almost years 10 ago? ten years ago. Longer, yeah. Shit. That's yep. crazy to think people get cut out that early. It's fucking real early, man. Yeah. And what he was going to be home in a month? Yeah, he had really, 30, it was yeah. that. Oh, he was thirty. He was thirty days away from coming home. Uh, he, you know, one day, you know, he did get to come home. You got the for like a special, him. like uh, his grandpa was dying of cancer. That my computer. Yeah, his grand, <laughs> his grand, his grandpa was dying of cancer, I believe, and they gave him a uh, emergency leave to come home, so he got to come home for like a uh, week. My. Uh, my brother ended up seeing him at the bar and brought him back to my house the night before he went back to Iraq. Yeah, and uh, we partied. He stayed the night at my house and shit, dude. It was it was cool, man. You know, and it was kind of fucked up though, man. Because when he left, you know, it was like I don't know. Speaking of crying, you know, we just both looked at each other, you know, bawled our eyes out, told each other that we loved each other. You know what I'm yeah. saying? And uh, that was it, dude. You know, like. It was like we kind of fucking knew that we were never going to see each other again. You know? It's all, I mean, th- th- that's what I mean. Like, it's a connection. It's it's it makes you human. Like, it's so easy to keep up a, a, a hard exterior all the time. Oh yeah, that's no. what we're expected to do. Oh man, society. I was a well, fuck society. You should, you're always supposed to keep it together. Let's be human, you know. Oh no, dude. <laughs> you know, you know that is one thing that would uh, you know definitely make me cry. Yeah, is thinking of him. Do but, you yeah. know what he planned on doing afterwards? Like, I don't know, I'm just curious. Yeah, he wanted to get married and move to uh, Hawaii. Yeah? Oh, yeah. fuck, I can relate to that. Yeah, he played... Hawaii's the fucking shit. <laughs> Plus, Lost was filmed there. Oh. Yeah. That's what he Don't gets. give me that fucking... Oh, that's what he... That's why. Kind of fucking oh. I mean, oh! <laughs> Navy seals. So why did he want to move to Hawaii? Just Like, do you know what he wanted to do as a career? Any idea? I think he was just going to be career um, military and wanted to be stationed in Hawaii. Oh, wait, I thought I took you saying he was going to be home in 30 days to mean he was getting out of the military. Yeah. Active, so he wasn't. Active, you know, from your active duty contract, that's like, I think, 13 months or 14 months or something like that. I see. So he would have just, like, taken a job in Hawaii. Yeah. Uh, Jeremy Speakout did that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. A buddy of my brother's. Yep. So. Did you get these this season? Yeah. Yeah, like two weeks ago. <laughs> Is that really they're, just Yeah, they're just uh, talking about. Was that Jen's they're, pants that you're asking about? They're cute and comfortable. Like, I want yeah, that. Well, yeah. share it with the world, KFT. Yeah, yeah. there's a microphone right in front of you. You don't have to, like, whisper to the person She's like, next to you. Well, I didn't know if it was, like, appropriate. (laughs) I told you nothing's inappropriate. We've talked about coming on old people's wheelchairs. Come on. No, that's mainly you. Yeah, well, whatever. (laughs) And I I didn't know that it was old people. No, I thought it was just somebody's dad. I said parents. Yeah, well, I'm old, right? I'm somebody's dad. Well, there's a 13-year-old dad I've seen. A 13 year I've seen uh, a couple news articles. Oh, I yeah, guess the, so, yeah. The kid's freaking 13. He, yeah, the kid's the 13 ba- he years looks like old. he's nine. Yeah, it's fucking ridiculous, dude. He's like holding the kid with like holding the bottle, and it's like, what the fuck? How old is the he girl? Looked, he looked like he was smaller than Lena, the boy yeah. did. Uh, dude, he just got the look like of Like you at 16? 
Yeah. Your the mom girls. thought I was looking like about grade. 12. Yeah. yeah. Why are you hanging out with 12 year olds? Like, no, mom. She was like he's 15 a freshman. Or 16. Oh, the best. Yeah, you looked so young. My oh, mom yeah. thought I was hanging out with a child. He still, when he shaves, he looks so young. So does he. Yeah. I just look fat. That's the problem. I keep the beard now as a beard to hide my double chin. I, get, I look super creepy without facial hair nowadays. You I can't do it. not look yeah. creepy. It's weird. You just look young. How about we do shave December? We just go beardless for the whole month. Oh, God. Just mm. baby face for a whole month. No, no weird mustaches. No, okay, cool design. What do you think? December? I don't like shaving my face. I don't enough. either. I, I like when you get like fun stuff in it. <laughs> oh, come the, when you get the fun <laughs> stuff. <laughs> Coming up, mouth looking like a glazed donut. <laughs> <laughs> and somehow you take it too far. <laughs> oh me? <laughs> yeah, you took it too far. No, that's that is you, not too. Far. That's too far that according was, to your shit talking rules. That was crossing the line. I'm very mm. offended. Mm. See? Mm. Line crossed. Uh, uh. Not we're not talking, you know, ovarian crossed, but it's crossed. <laughs> yes. So the wife is giving me that to, I want to ask you something or continue a previous back to conversation. What you call her? You say bay? <laughs> what do you mean? What I call no, her? Oh, him? I, I yeah. think it's I think it's ridiculous. I I see, you're using it. You're mocking that it's a thing. One hundred percent. But when I see like a from. meme and stuff, you know, I, I see a meme. Yeah, I don't get it. What is it? What I think it's I know just, what it means. It's so ridiculous. It's like boo. Yeah. Which I always thought was stupid, and I would never allow her to call me. And she would say it occasionally, and I always laughed because it's just stupid. It's like you're not trying to scare me. Yeah. What is bae? No. Is it short for baby? Like it's oh yeah. like, like it's yeah, you're baby, too lazy. My girl. I my, didn't think like, baby. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, yeah, but uh, it was on the that list of words that employees aren't allowed to say at Chick Fil A. Bay. Yeah, there was a bunch of them. Yeah, I that don't was know. just that one in particular. And I'm pretty sure that manager's been fired at this point. <laughs> the I fact that that got online, one of them was said, I'm literally deaf. Like, that's something they couldn't say. I'm literally. What does on fleet mean? Any idea? On point. On fleet? Yeah, it means on point. It was Why? Kim Kardashian. She tweeted it. Yeah, because she just got her makeup I done. It's, and I believe it's with a K, not a T. Yeah. On fleek. Yeah, it's with a K. Oh, but, fleek. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, um, that's. I saw that. That's right. It was. I mean, fleek, back in the day, fleek. rappers used to talk about shit being on flick. You know, I remember that fucking ten years ago. I don't remember any. Back of that. when we used to listen to fucking CCA when it first came out, like, oh man, that Chevy's on flick. Mm-mm. I mean, is that the same word? Is that the evolution it's, of that word? People that you know, it's turned to I'm fleek sure. now. You know, everything comes back around. When I was when I went out for Lena's parent teacher conference thing, uh-huh. she um, pulls out a piece of paper and it was basically on her handwriting and everything. And she was talking about how nice Lena's handwriting is compared to other other kids in the class. Mine's horrible. And I think Lena's handwriting is pretty messy. Are you talking personally. print or cursive? Print. They're not teaching cursive anymore, are they? Um. Yeah, she's already learned it. But they don't have to do it. I heard that they weren't going to be teaching it anymore. I mean, I guess technically it's easier to not have to pick up the pencil in between letters. Like, it makes more sense to just run it all together. But I don't remember cursive. Sorry, go on. I liked cursive. So Lena has good handwriting. Are you talking her print? Yeah, her print and Mm -hmm. everything. And I'm sitting there reading the sentences. And they were really, really good. And then, like, I get down to the end of the page... And it starts looking like a text message instead of actually spelling out you. It was just the you. And, oh, yeah. Uh, instead of four, it was just the number four. And I was like, oh, I was like, I have to talk to her about this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Definitely. You, I mean, yeah. I get it. I and get Because I type like that yeah, on the, the computer, teacher too. Even, the teacher even laughs. The she goes, you. yeah. She goes, it's the texting generation. So... I'll if you get the point across, as long as you know the difference between four or two and, like, the different variations of it, like, as long as you don't just put two meaning T-O-O, like, and you just put the number two, like, as long as you know that you meant... Well, and nowadays, you know, it's like, 
you're the cool person if you find out a new way to, um, you know, like type a word and shorten it, you know, like, oh, yeah, I'm the one that fucking started doing that, you yeah. know. Everybody cares about what's on the internet, you know. It's pretty good. I mean, yeah. It's pre- and that's pretty awesome. I mean, you go anywhere and... Do you go online every day? 100%. Of the day? <laughs> You're of online day. right now? <laughs> no, he has a lot of um, responsibilities at home. Does he? He tends to. Okay. Exactly. Do you have, like, a, a list of uh, said activities? <laughs> He has it memorized. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So you don't have to like leave him a reminder I, list every day. She's got a chalkboard that she writes stuff down for me to do, you know. <laughs> Fair enough. Draws out diagrams I of what will happen to me if it chalk. doesn't. I don't like the feeling oh. of chalk either. Oh. Oh. Touching it with oh, bare hands. Okay, uh uh-uh. uh, uh uh. Mm. Sorry. Rubbing Sorry. your fingernails across it. Mm. See, I, that uh. doesn't bother me so much, but just touching chalk. I hate the feel of it too. Ugh. Uh. How come it was fun when we were little? No, because it never was. Because we didn't... I don't know. I don't ah. think I ever liked it. I've always hated it. Even like sidewalk it chalk. That was the only almost tolerable version. Yeah. It's hurting my ears just thinking about the sound of it right now. And the feel of it. I'm All right, let's, let's Yeah, the feel. Ugh. I also hate touch. I hate touching rusty metal. That's like been out in like the fucking... Where do you uh, find rusty metal to touch? What scenarios are are required? <laughs> are, is touching rusty metal required? Just out of curiosity, like how have you come into that? <laughs> work in construction. Okay, or, like removal stuff yeah, like that. Work in okay. construction, shit like that. You know, moving people's garage stuff. What stuff about that's in the shed. what's weird about it? I don't know. I don't know. I fucking I. Ugh. I can't stand the fucking, I can't stand the feel of it. Like, literally, I'll spit on my hands and rub it in before I touch it, and then, like, before I grip on it, you know? What does that do? It, it coats the hand. <laughs> it coats the hand. <laughs> I come on my hands, and then uh, let that dry <laughs> over a heater, you know. and then I can touch them. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Ridiculous. Huh. Learn yeah, it's, something new about you every day. I have... Yeah, it's weird. I have an irrational thing like that. I... F- I well water tastes like rust. Oh, well, yeah. Well, but yeah. But, but how do I know what rust tastes like? I don't. I instinctively know it tastes like rust. That's uh, evolution, man. Yeah? Yeah, it's in your fucking body, dude. I mean, but does it taste like rust? Is that what rust tastes like? Why do I feel like that's rust? I know that well water is the taste of rust. Because you mm. can see that's what it actually causes on certain things, too, though. That it makes things... R- I know, but I instantly knew, oh, that's what rust would taste like, and I've never tasted rust. I know what dish soap tastes like. Uh, well, you've probably had your mouth washed out. No, GCA I took a, just squirted it in there. I took a full double <laughs> shot of oh, I bet you have. dish soap before. Yeah, mm-hmm. it was probably one of the sickest I've ever Weren't been in my entire life. puking out bubbles? Yeah, I puked bubbles for like literally like nine hours, dude. That's pretty spectacular. Yeah, so the next gross. day his friend was like, yo, I want to do that too. And then his friend did it. It was the green kind that was like apple scented. So I was like, oh, yeah. So it <laughs> gave you heartburn as well? Dude, it's fu- <laughs> Dude. You're like, my throat never felt cleaner. <laughs> Literally, like, I, I, you couldn't get the taste out of your mouth. I couldn't get the taste out of my mouth for like a week. It was so bad, dude. That was like the worst idea I've ever had in my entire life. Uh, why was that? Uh, That's debatable. Yeah, but yeah. why? Why did that come up? Why did you think to take a shot of? It was green, and it what? had apple on it. <laughs> Holy shit! I didn't realize your bar was so low. It was green. <laughs> yeah, at the time it was. It, it, it looked tasty. Were I'm you like, already drunk? Fucking wasted. Okay, well that makes a little yeah, more sense. It was green. Yeah, I know. <laughs> green is the first qualifying yeah, factor. Yeah, I was like, okay, you know. Ooh, that's green. And immediately after I take the shot, I was like, oh, ho, ho, I wonder if this is a, uh, wonder if this is poisonous. So after fucking, you took yeah, it, yeah. So then I fucking <laughs> turn it around. And of course, it says, you know, poisonous. Immediately call fucking uh, whatever it is. Poison control poison if control. ingested. Yeah. Or nine one one if ingested, I'm like, oh shit, I'm gonna die. And Did you call them? Hell no, I just fucking puked it up and puked it up and puked it up. It, I, I mean, oh, you induced puking then? You no, made, it fucking. Oh, it just it came oh, on yeah, its own. It's fucking <laughs> done for, man. Oh, was it a bad puke? The worst I've ever had in my entire life. Dude. Really? Yeah. Oh yeah. I'm telling you, it was clean and stuff. It was eating into the grease on your 
you know, esophag- esophagus walls. I mean, think of like, think I, if you put a little bit it clears on off like in a, a pan. plate yeah. and then you fucking put water on it, how like long it'll suds up, dude. Mm-hmm. You take a fucking double shot of it. Yeah. 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 A so double the, shot. Oh, this is making my Why couldn't you have hurt. just taken a regular one? Because we were taking fucking bubblegum shots. Oh. It was Bacar- of bubblegum. It was Bacardi. It's Bacardi. Oh. Uh, lime Bacardi with a uh, Red Bull. Fucking, it tastes like bubblegum. It's okay. really good. But you know, you gotta mix the two, so you need a two ounce glass. Was it also green? <laughs> no, <laughs> it's uh. Just trying to figure out where the green it's came. It's like in. the color of Red Bull because the liquor is clear. Jen, hide the uh, dish soap. We have uh, <laughs> green dish soap. What if we do? We need to worry about that. The kids will be prone to drink it because it's green. The grapefruit smells pretty good, too. Like, if I was wasted and never drank the it before. The stuff I have? Yeah. That's because it's all natural and non-toxic. So if he does decide to drink it, He's nothing like, nothing fuck, yes. In his head right now, he is planning on taking a double shot later. <laughs> <laughs> Check. Non-toxic. Like a motherfucker. You're just going to see him looking at labels. Hmm. Toxic, non-toxic. There's just going to be two cabinets. Toxic, non-toxic. <laughs> no. No. You're not You're not a Johnny Knoxville type of... Yeah, that whole, jack a- that whole jackass fade is kind of... Did away. you go through that? Oh, yeah, big time. For real? What's the weirdest thing you did? Dude, I lit my nuts on fire twice. <laughs> That was pretty. How does up. one decide after the first time that was fun? Let's do that again. Because it like didn't really hurt that bad. Okay. Really the first time, like you know, I, <laughs> well, I slapped it out real fast. We a couple people had it on video. I'm 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 sure they still don't have it, but how yeah, is that not yeah, a thing? Then I dipped it in the Everclear. Would dip- nobody would ever delete that? Yeah, I don't know. It was pretty funny. You know? Uh, you know what I'm sick of? That video of Justin lighting his nuts on fire. Let's get rid of that. <laughs> Nobody said that ever. Ever. <laughs> yeah, well, it was actually at Mike Gardner's house. Yeah? And he's and he passed. Yeah. So, uh, I mean... So it is possible that it, it's gone. It po- could be. Quite possible, yeah. Was it him that recorded it? I don't believe who it was. I, I don't remember who it was. I was... Was tanked. it recorded on phone? No, I, it was like, you know... You're talking, the there's a VHS camp- yeah, out like there a somewhere? Camcorder. There's a VHS out there somewhere. Yeah, there's... If you are in possession of that VHS, <laughs> please send it in to comeuppance at uh, 1260 Arrowhead Court, Crown Point, Indiana, 46307. <laughs> I've... Yeah. Please send the tape. Mark it Justin's Ball Fire, Part Due. Yeah, I've had. Okay. I've had. <laughs> he said it was the second time. Yeah, I did. I used to like. That was why to film it. That's why like, you do it a second time. I like staple stuff to myself and just ridiculous stuff. You so know? like pain stuff. Yeah, I mean. I mean, obviously that hurt in particular, but like it was like pain type things. Yeah, I guess lighting your balls on fire would hurt as well. Yeah, that hurt pretty bad. Yeah. Shooting. Freaking uh, bottle rockets and shit out of your butt crack. You know. No, I don't. That's what I'm asking. <laughs> like that. Please continue. <laughs> what else? Like, I don't have it. You're like giving me a couple generals. I bet you you have more specifics that I wouldn't even ever fathom. Chewing on light bulbs. What? I, yeah, I chewed on a light bulb. <sighs> Holy shit. What was that like? It was fucking horrible, man. I threw up for a while. Oh my god. Did you it swallow did, it? It, it, swallowed? it? No, I spit it out, but I chewed it he up. He didn't, he just, he spit, he didn't swallow it. I bit, <laughs> I took a light bulb and bit into it, you know, like. Typical. How old are you? I'm 25. <laughs> it's like, this is last week, I mean. Ah, uh, no, I take that back, I think, yeah, 25. Yeah. You bit a light bulb. It was pretty bad. I don't even did know Did you ble- you. cut your mouth? No. No, it just tasted bad, like the filament, you know. I, oh, that. I, I popped it, and, you know, it, like. Oh, it spit, it, the dust went in your mouth? Ugh. Yeah, it's pretty bad. I'm sure that took a couple years off my life. Yeah, probably. Uh, what else? Me and John Anderson uh, just decided that it'd be a great time to, I kicked through his glass table. We were wasted. and I Of course. Kicked through it. There was shards of glass, and we decided to just start taking turns stabbing each other in the leg. Who does this? I mean... Your your fiancé. I mean... <laughs> I, I'm talking like... This was an intervention, KFT, actually. <laughs> <laughs> to, be, 
be fair, we were drinking for like two days. Well, yeah, because that's a reasonable thing. So when you put that normal thing into the equation, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Stabbing each other. What the it, fuck are you talking dude, about? I'm, it was it was serious. What do you man. mean? What do you have a scar from leg stabbing? I got tattoos over it. His but you lung have... was punctured. He was in the hospital. No, it was just our legs. But you know, just like, just, just those just those things that let just me like walk right here. You know, and like right here, like this shit. Your area. calves? Yeah, calves. Yeah, I mean, that's we're the like, worst area. We're like le- legitimately, like, uh, you know, what is it with like three guys? Times. Guy no. friends wanting to uh, hurt each other. No, don't ever <laughs> fucking classify me it because I be have a dick in the guy. same category as that. It seems that's to be more of a fucked. guy thing. Stabbing each other. I stabbed Jared with a uh, switchblade one time, and then he took it from me and stabbed me. But that doesn't <sighs> sound like it was a, a mutual decision. No, I just <laughs> took the. I just seen a. The stabbing with the glass sounds like, are you thinking what I'm thinking? You both bend down to pick up the yeah. glass, and you're like, wait a minute. Didn't even say anything. Just looked at each other like. I believe that I started, like, <laughs> I think I think he, he, it was either me or him, like, stabbed ourselves first. Like, oh, fuck this. And you're all like, oh. But I'm bored. There's glass. Yeah, yeah fuck you. <laughs> Why stab, am I not you know? cutting myself? Oh, you, oh, you're badass. You know, oh, you can take one. Fucking stab me, you know. <laughs> and then it just got out of hand. But, yeah. I stabbed Jared with a switchblade, and then he stabbed me back, and then we cauterized the wound with a fucking torch. That was... That was pretty bad. Okay. I'm horrified. (laughs) Yeah, that left a mark. I just, I don't know what to say right now. Anything (laughs) else? I'm sure. Go on. I'm sure. Come on, give give us one more before we end the show. Ah, shit. I don't even know. Give man. us the give us the best one. I mean, lighting your notes on fire is pretty, pretty serious. I bet you're keeping something in the bag still. Not, I mean, not that I could. De- I mean, that's some pretty. I bet you there's a lot shit. of things he doesn't even remember. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, not his blackout days. Oh yeah, blackout days. How does that happen? And what is that like, dude? He doesn't know because he blacked out. When you when you get to drinking, do you remember me picking you up? Yes. From the mall. Yeah. I don't really black out anymore. Like, you know, you it's been years. You seemed blacked out. It's been a couple years. You seemed nearly blacked out there, if not. It's been more than a couple years since I blacked out. But when I was younger, like, you know, 19 to 21, you know, we'd be fucking drinking from the time you wake up to the time you go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you, you get, you time to get, uh, forget couple days here and there i mean i it's guess weird. it's almost like it's instinctual to keep drinking then because once you're that shit face you're not making the decisions anymore right? oh you can't rationally even fucking think so dude. you're not even in control of am i going to take another shot i i can't i have, imagine ever having yeah. gotten to that point that's craziness you get, some people stronger. some people get to have that there's no off switch man once you turn it on, it's like, dude, until the lights fucking go out, you're going to keep them rolling, you know? You almost went into that Nate Dog hook from the Eminem song, didn't you? Till I collapse? N- no. I, <laughs> what, 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 <laughs> you're like, when the roof coming, when the lights go on. Yeah, yeah, I haven't heard that song in years, but... R.I.P. Nate Dog. <laughs> yep, why is everybody dying? So many people die. Oh yeah, everyone does. Yeah, it's a, yeah. That's the thing. Haven't met you know. I want to <clears throat> clip your dog's nails. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. On that note. <laughs> Don't take off your headphones, it sounds bad when I'm singing without them. You're not allowed to do that. I've had to ban people from doing that. See you later. All these memories in my mind, my mind, my mind, my mind, my mind, my mind. I'm still a secret lemonade drinker.